burnt offerings in your house. In Revelation chapter 4 verse 11, the scripture says, For thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure. They are and we are created. The basic reason why God created you from origin is so that you can give him worship. And that is why he brought you into the worldly place. So for you to enter the worldly place and you are not worshiping God, then it's an error. For you to be in the worldly place and you are not giving God praise, then it's an error. And here it is we are also raising a generation of Christians uh, whose worship to God is limited uh, in their lives. Uh, and this is what Jesus lamented. He said these people honored me with their lives uh, but their heart is far from me. A generation whereby you see them in worship. Uh, you so believe that heaven is coming down. But the moment after that worship you see the direct opposite of the people that worship God. A hypocritical generation generation, a deceitful generation. Beloved in Christ, hear this. Listen, is the challenge of payment of vows. If there is any challenge that has bedeviled this nation, is the challenge of people making promises and not fulfilling it. Is the challenge of people swearing oath of office and not abiding to what they swore to. Is the challenge of people swearing oath of office and not being able to defend the same constitution with which they swore to abide to. That is one of the greatest challenge that Nigeria is facing. It is the challenge of going from one place campaigning and the other. And after the campaign once the election is come and gone promises are not fulfilled. Vows are not being made. That is why Nigeria is where it is today. Thank God it's almost an election season and they are almost everywhere. Running from one creek to another. Running from one city to another. Running from one local government to another. Running and campaigning everywhere. Making promises and making vows. Hear this! The reason for independence and why God brought us into the worldly place is so that we can pay our vows. Pay our vows. Those promises you make, fulfill them. And if you're a politician in the house, hear this. The demand of God upon your life is that every promise you make to the people, fulfill them. Every declaration you tell them in the process of campaign, ensure that they are carried out and stop giving us lip services. Ensure the vows you make are fulfilled. Ensure the promises you make to the citizenry is being carried out and not on the period of election again. You start doing things as if uh, that is the only season you had to work for the nation. Hear this. The Lord said that the reason why you are brought into the world place and we're talking to Nigeria at a time like this is so that we can pay our vows. No matter any office anybody is holding, what God demands from you, those promises you made to the land of Nigeria, those promises you made in the state, those promises you made in the local government, ensure that those vows are paid. God said, if you know that you are not going to pay your vows, it is better you don't even pronounce it. So it is a cause to make a pronouncement and you are not able to fulfill it. It is a cause to make a promise and you are not able to actualize that promise. He said that we may go and pay our vows. Nigeria will charge you this morning on this 54th independence anniversary to all our leaders, to all our politicians. Please, we beg you in the name of God, under the reach of our voice, wherever you are, ensure that the vows you made are Paid on time, and the Lord shall bless you in the name of Jesus. And to us as individuals, hear this. You are brought into the world of place so that those vows you made to God, you are able to fulfill them. I was going through the lines of our national pledge. I pledge to Nigeria, my country. 
to be faithful, loyal, and honest. And my first question, how faithful are you to your nation, Nigeria? How loyal are you to your nation, Nigeria? Whether you're a politician or not, as a citizen of this nation, we recite this pledge often and on, how faithful are you to the nation called Nigeria? To be faithful, loyal, and honest. I had to pause, and I also had challenge with that. How honest are we to our country? We are all citizens of these nations. How honest are we as citizens? You make that pledge. Please pay it. It's a vow you have committed yourself to. Please pay it. Be honest to your nation. Be honest to your country. Be honest to this great nation called Nigeria. And it's so bad that we are raising a generation of people who are not honest to Nigeria. People who can lie to Nigeria. And people who can lie to even themselves. That's the kind of nation we and citizenry that we are raising. Even after the number of pledges that we repeat part time. To be faithful, loyal, and honest. We beg you this morning, brothers and sisters, there is a need for us to show honesty in our dealings with Nigeria and with Nigerians. In our dealings with Nigeria and with Nigerians, it is needful that we show a high level of honesty. Because when our vows are paid, there will be growth and development in this nation. Because promises are not being paid, because promises and electoral promises are not being fulfilled, that is why the level of growth and development in the nation has not actually yielded the anticipated result. If not, if you look at the political promises, if you look at the propaganda and their manifesto, very wonderful manifesto, but none of them is fulfilled and the nation is yet to attain to the actual growth and development level. That is why poverty is still ravaging everywhere. In spite of our abundant mineral resources that is abundant in a nation like ours because people are not fulfilling their promises development and growth is hereby stunted. When your vows are paid, honesty and justice will be the order of the day. People will deal with each other in honesty. That are brought wealth to your life. Is it by just coming to church? Do you have a heart connection with Jesus? Or you are just here going from church to church, attending all kind of services, yet your heart is not connected to him. What is your connection? That is the important thing this morning. If you must be brought to the wealthy place, it must be that you have a heart connection with the one who makes provision for you to enter into the wealthy place. In few minutes, can you look at your life and look at yourself? Can you ask yourself and answer this pertinent question? What is my connection? What is my connection? Is God happy with my connection? The way you are connected to him, is God actually happy? The way you are living your life, is God actually happy? The way you do things, is God actually happy? By your behavior, attitude, and action, do you think that God is actually happy? If there is any question we have not failed to consistently ask, is that if anything had happened yesterday, and it happened that the trumpet sounded, would you have found a place in heaven? If anything had happened yesterday, and it so happened that we couldn't see you again on the surface of the earth, would you have found a place in heaven? Irrespective of your state, and 
irrespective of who you are in the church, irrespective of how daily you come to church, brothers and sisters, if anything had happened yesterday and it was discovered that we couldn't see you again on the surface of the earth, would you have found a place in heaven? We didn't gather you here just to come and dance and celebrate. We gathered us so that we can also have a reconciliation with our God. We gathered us so that God can have a rapturable church. We gathered us so that on the second coming of Jesus, he will find men that are faithful. He will find men that are committed. He will find men and women that was, he can say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. The question is this morning, what is your connection to the source? Do you have a relationship with him? That is the question we we'll want us to answer this morning. And if you know you are here, under the reach of our voice, you know too well that there is no connection at all. You don't need anybody to tell you. You know. If you are truthful to yourself, you know there is no connection. Between you and God. You've been going to church and nobody is doubting you. You are in church. No question about that. But you know too well. That no connection at all. Between you and God. You know too well that even after you live here. And anything happens. The trumpet sound. Heaven will not open for you. By your lifestyle and your character. And you want to say Lord Jesus. I want to have a renewed relationship with you. You want to say, Lord Jesus, I want my heart again to be renewed so that I can actually enter into this world a place. You want to say, Lord Jesus, I don't want to remain in this kind of situation for long. You want to say, Lord Jesus, I don't want to end in hellfire. I want to find a place in heaven. You are here under the reach of our voice. You don't want to end this program. You don't want to end this great feast of trumpet without reconciling with Jesus. Or maybe you are also here and it happened that you've been born again or you've had that relationship before. But along the line, there was a break in transmission and you found yourself falling back to the old life. And you want to say, Lord Jesus, I want to renew my life with you. This morning, this is an opportunity. We are ever you are under the reach of our voice. Put your right hand in your heart. We are ever you are. It's not a force, but you know too well that this message is actually for you. You know too well that you want to renew your relationship with God. You know too well. I say, Lord, I don't want to die a sinner. You want to say, Lord, I don't want to remain like this. I want to be rapturable at your second coming. Lord, let me not just blow this trumpet here on earth. Let me also find the privilege of blowing the trumpet also in heaven. Lord, I want to renew my relationship with you. You are here this morning. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Put your right hand in your heart, wherever you are, and we'll pray with you. With that right hand in your heart, you can talk to God. Tell him what you want to tell him. Tell him how sorry you are. You know the challenge, you know the issues. Or are you having a character challenge? Or is it that there is a habit you are struggling with? You want to overcome the habit, but it's difficult. You want to overcome the habit, but you're finding it difficult. I want to say, Lord, this morning, I want these habits to end. You want to say, this morning, I want these habits to end so that I can have a renewed relationship with you. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Let that right hand be in your heart. Where you are. For in the cross, in the cross. Let's take that number. You can be talking to God. You know why you want to settle with God. You know the areas where you have filled him. 
you know the areas where you have not been faithful to him he said he brought you into the world the place so that you can render faithful service to him he brought you into the world the place so that you can actually live a holy life and not to be in the world the place and continue in sin not to be in the world the place and continue in immorality not to be in the world the place and continue in all manner of atrocities you want to say lord this morning i want to have a change wherever you are just talk to god just talk to god don't let this opportunity pass you by or rest beyond the river call is for you. Jesus is talking to you. Just say to him what you want to say to him. I don't care who is looking at me. I don't care who is listening to me. But I know what with you, God. I know that the way I am living my life, I am not living correctly. I know that the way I am living my life, if anything happens, I am going straight to hellfire. And Lord, I don't want to die and go to hell. That is why I want to renew my relationship with you this morning. for the last time let's also give you a last opportunity maybe you are still thinking and still considering should I should I not maybe you are thinking of one thing or the other this message is for you this message is actually for you God is talking to you this morning don't let this opportunity pass you by is the first day of the tenth month very significant don't let this opportunity pass you by you are still wondering and considering should i should i not jesus is calling you now put that right hand in your heart wherever you are wherever you are genuinely want to say lord jesus let that right hand be in your heart. With that right hand in your heart, where you are, the front, the back, wherever you are, that right hand in your heart. This is important because that is where the surgery needs to take place. He says, I will take the stony heart away from you. And I will give you one heart of flesh. A new heart also will I give to you. For out of the abundance of the hearts, everything about your life emanates. Guide your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Everything that radiates around your life emanates from the heart. If you can get it right at the heart, then your life can be correct. And that is why that surgery needs to take place spiritually inside that heart. With that right hand in your heart, can you say this prayer after us? Where you are, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you I acknowledge my sins. I ask that you forgive me. I ask that you cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Your word says that if I shall confess with my mouth and believe in my heart, 
that God has raised him from the dead, that I shall be saved this morning. I confess your lordship over my life and I declare that I am saved. I declare that I'm a new creator. For if any man be in Christ, he is a new creator. All things are passed away and all things are become new. From today, Lord, I belong to you. I no longer belong to Satan. Therefore, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Father, give me the grace to maintain this decision for the rest of my life in Jesus' name. And so our Father, these ones have cried to you. For to you that answered prayer shall all flesh come. We ask this morning. They didn't come to any man. They didn't make their cry to any man. They presented their cry to you. We beseech you from your throne of grace above this morning. Let their names be blotted away from the book of death. And let it be written in the book of life. From this day forward. The grace to maintain this decision. That same grace that has been available and functional in the life of your servants. That have kept them for years. That we have held their names over the edges. Kept them in righteousness. Lord, we ask that that same grace be deposited upon the life of your children this morning. Thank you, ancient of days. For we know you are faithful. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. And you just prayed that prayer. Can you shout a better amen? Now can we encourage us very quickly. If you prayed that prayer. That decision you just made here this morning. Is one of the best decisions anyone can make in life. The best decision. And it's one of the best gifts you can give to God on the first day of October like this. And it's one of the best ways you can celebrate independence. That you are rededicating your life to God. We encourage you, please don't go back to sin. You know the thing you have cried out to God this morning to help you come out. Please, strive not to go back to them. Do your best to live in holiness and righteousness. And you will see the wealth of God flow in your direction. Do your best to live in obedience and the will of God and you will see yourself go to a higher level and that shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and tell God thank you for the word he has given to us. You can rise to your feet if you are still sitting. Just go ahead and tell him thank you. Father thank you. Thank you for bringing us into the wealthy place. Thank you for bringing us into the world a place. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are worthy. Blessed be your name. We give you all adoration for the word you spoke to us. You are the one that presented the word this morning to our life. We say, receive our thanks. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. The scripture we read in Psalm chapter 66 and in verse 12. That was cost men to ride over our head. We went through fire and through water. Thou brought us, us out into the world of place. This morning in the place of prayer we shall make a demand. Say God, everyone that have rode over our head before now. Everyone that have been in charge of our life before now. In Jeremiah chapter 31, I think somewhere in verse 11. He said, the Lord have redeemed Israel and rams of Jacob. And delivered him from him that was stronger than him. Oh Lord, everyone that have been riding over my destiny. Everyone that have been riding over my family. Everyone that have been riding over my career. Everyone that have been 
riding over my business, everyone that been riding over my life and taking full control and full charge of my life. Here this morning, by reason of this trumpetic praise, I break loose from their oppression. I break loose from their captivity. They are put in my neck. I break that yoke. I break that yoke. I break that yoke. Here this morning, every yoke of failure, yoke of disappointment, yoke of shame and disgrace, yoke of troubles, yoke of sickness, yoke of poverty, yoke of worries. This morning, I break that yoke. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. You believe in that prayer, shout a louder, amen. amen. The father Isaac understood the power of dominion. And he said, even though you are going to serve him, but a day will come when you will have dominion. I don't know how long you have been serving your enemies. I don't know how long the enemies have been in charge of your life. I don't know how long they've been riding over your head. But your day of dominion is come. Your day of dominion is come. Your day of dominion is come. And that day is today. That day is today. That day is today. And by reason of this dominion, every yoke that the enemy, every yoke that witches and wizards uh, put upon your neck, uh, you are breaking it now. 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 That yoke is broken. That yoke is broken. That yoke is broken. For whomsoever the Son of Man set free, he is free indeed. I break loose. I break loose. I break loose. Now the Lord is that spirit. And we are the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. And by reason of the anointing, you Yokes are being broken by the anointing of God here tonight. Every yoke from the pit of hell that have limited your growth in life, that have limited your success in life, they are broken in the name of Jesus. You caused men to ride over us. We went through fire and through water. When thou passest through the fire, it shall not burn you. When you pass through the water, it shall not overflow you. On this first day of October, you are going to make a brutal declaration. Oh God, every fire that the enemy will direct to my life, I shall pass through it, you shall not burn me. I shall pass through it, you shall not burn me. I shall pass through it, you shall not burn me. Go ahead and make that declaration. You shall decree a thing, and it shall be established. You shall decree creatine and it shall be established. Go ahead and make that declaration. Any kind of fire that the enemy is directing to my life, any kind of fire that the enemy is directing to my family, any kind of fire that the enemy is directing to my business, any kind of fire that the enemy is directing to my marriage, any kind of fire that the enemy is directing to my destiny. You shall not burn me. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Can fire burn fire? How can you be connected to the consuming fire? And then fire from the pit of hell burn you. Is it possible? By your connection to the consuming fire this morning. Every fire from hell that would have burnt you in the year 2014. They are terminated in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever kind of fire that they are invoking from the occultic world and wanting that fire to burn you, by the power of God here tonight and by our connection to the consuming fire, let their fire be consumed in the name of Jesus. We went through fire. Fire didn't burn us. Has it happened before? Yes. Three men inside fire. No scratch. No nothing. That same power as of old. It is activated this morning. Any fire the enemy is putting you into. 
Receive the grace to come out of that fire. Receive the grace to come out of that fire. Whatsoever it took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to enter the fire and come out on hot. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. We went through water. When thou passed through the water, it cannot overflow you. And it so happened that at a point in time that Satan was angry with the woman. The dragon so angry. And he released a spit from his mouth. It's there and returned. Watch the seaside. The wave can be very strong coming from far. But once it gets to the boundary, you will hear a mighty sound. Beam. And it returns to where it came from. Whatever flaw the enemy is sending against you. By the boundary you have set upon your life this morning. That flood will hit that boundary. And it shall return in the name of Jesus. That flood will hit that boundary. And it shall return in the name of Jesus. That flood will hit that boundary. And it shall return in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And you brought us, us out into the wealthy place. Are you ready to enter your wealthy place now? Are you ready to enter your wealthy place? We are going to declare, say, Lord, this morning, first day of October, 2014, I enter into my wealthy place. I enter into my wealthy place. Go ahead and make that declaration. Lord, I enter. I enter. I enter. I enter. I enter into my wealthy place. I enter into my place. I enter into my wilder place. I enter into my wilder place. I enter. Go in there now. Go in there now. Go in there now. Enter into your wilder place. It's your wilder place. It's your wilder place. It's your wilder place. It's your wilder place. He brought us them into their wilder place and he did bring us into our desired heaven. That wilder place. Enter into it. 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 Here this morning. Thank you, ancient of days. For we know you are faithful. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. In few seconds you are going to have a practical demonstration of your entering into your world place. And the band you give us this number. Ekele Anigenye Chineke For we he has opened the door and we are entering into it and practically you are going to demonstrate it practically you are going to demonstrate it here say lord i enter into it and as i enter nothing is taking me out as i enter nothing is taking me out as I enter, nothing is taking me out. As I enter, nothing is taking me out. Oh yes, go into it now. Go into your world of place. Go into your world of place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For whatsoever the Lord doeth is permanent. You just entered into your world of place. Lift up your voice and tell him thank you. For the place of wealth you have entered. Is a change of level, is a change of position. Is a change of level, is a change of position. You just changed your original position before now. And you just entered into a new realm. You just entered into a new dimension. And you just entered into your place of wealth. Thank you, Father. We love you, Lord, this morning because you are worthy. 
Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Before our fathers will come and give the final impartation to our life, so that this world will actually develop and manifest itself as we live here, Isaac sowed in that land. And the land responded. The earth can only respond to the seed being sown. The land and the earth responds to the seed that is sown into it. Fruitfulness is a manifestation of the fruit sown in the land. You want to say, Father, on this first day of October 2014, as a way of appreciating you for the world the place I've entered. This is a seed I'm sowing into the moon. The first day, the first day. Lord, this is a seed I'm sowing into this first day of the month. And I want this seed to answer for me. The Bible said the seed of the sower answered for him. Lift it up and make your declaration. Say, Lord, this is a seed I am sowing. This is a seed I am sowing. This is a seed I am sowing this first day of October. And I want it to answer for me. 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 For the seed of the sower answered for him. Isaac sowed in that land and the land yielded an increase. The land yielded an increase. Lord, as we sow the seed, let the seed answer for us as we sow the seed let it answer for us what particular thing do you want that seed to do for you this first day of the month and in the month of october make that declaration what particular thing do you want that seed that you are sowing to do for you make that declaration say it and you shall have it. Declare it, and it shall be fulfilled. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. To Colinius, he said, your prayers and your arms given have come as a memorial to us in heaven. Lord, may our seed answer for us. May our seed answer for us. May our seed answer for us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers to the glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We are you are as our fathers will come up and make the final impartation upon your life and for the seed to manifest itself. Can you just come forward as our fathers will come up? Our fathers... Where you are, just come for our fathers from here will make the impartation over your life. With your seed, everybody just come forward with your seed. As our fathers will make the declaration from here, from this place, they are going to impact upon your life. And it is going to be a declaration that everything you have said here today, the seed will answer for you. Wherever you are, just step forward. I can sing a pretty song, a pretty song, a pretty song. I can sing a pretty song, so they don't know. Yeah. I can sing a pretty song, so they don't know.
in the name of Jesus Christ. It is our belief, and we know it of a truth, that God is here. It is our belief, and we know the truth, that God of Cherubim and Seraphim is here. If you can agree with me, and I know you will agree with me, that for the past few days, the heavens had always opened up. But it is to our seeing and our believing that for the past 24 hours, it had not rained. It is as a result of the fact that God that dwelt in the midst of cherubim and seraphim had listened to our prayers. He did not just listen to our prayers, he answered to our prayers as well. And so from what we have had this night, because we passed through the fire, because we passed through the flood, the fire did not burn us, neither did we, or were we drowned. It is a blessing unto us. And my belief, and our belief is that as many that has come here this night, we shall live here not being the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are so many of us that are here that came sick. You shall live here not being sick in the name of Jesus Christ. There are so many here that are not being so successful in their lives. At the end of this event, success shall overtake you in the name of Jesus. It is well with us. And our belief is that the grace of God and that true fellowship with the Holy Spirit shall continue to abide with us even now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Saying, Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. 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 The band. You can empty what you have. The the ushers. You can empty what you have. And God will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. You are blessed. Please, as we do this, brother Chinedo Kobe will be taking us as we do this offering. God bless you. Chinedo and Chinebere, you are in the sea now. You are in the lead. Take the show.
God bless you. from our elders as you can see with us we have too many persons who are invited to cut the cake we wish to say that everybody that is invited to cut the cake if your position will not permit you to touch the knife you can do well to touch the hand of the person that is hand or the hand of the hand of the hand of the person that is close to the cake Whatever way, just extend your hand, even as we invite our elders to lay their hand on the knife. We will invite or we will spread that glorious name, that name that set the captive free, that name that has liberated Nigeria, that name that has brought us to the worthy place, even as we spread J E S U A. Can we put our hands together for Jesus?
society and the Zion daughters to take the processional dance now. Now. Yeah. 
Sante, for your wine up, for your roll and take up, for your hide the booty. Drag your hand to be praised to the Lord, because he's worthy to be praised. of young trumpeters those of us who are playing now we are like children also like them so we're welcoming the royal kids on trumpet that will be led by our brother King Solomon N.S. Solomon please he will be leading the other children they will come on stage now 
So please, all the young children, we want you to come on stage now while they will be playing for us. We encourage that every other child in this place. Now the dancing will be for other young children. Adults, you can just stand while the young children will dance. So while these young men will be taking the, the, the trumpetic sound now, we expect that every other young child in this congregation, you will come out and dance as we celebrate Jesus. Amen. Please, as we've announced to us before now, we don't want the stage to be crowded so that our fathers, the elders, and other persons who are seated in the canopy can see what is happening on stage. So please, the armies of salvation and every other person. Please, everybody. Okay. I think this is also another opportunity for the young teenagers in the house. If you know you're a teenager, you know how to play the guitar, you can come up on stage now. As a teenager, if you know how to play the keyboard, you can come on st uh, stage now. Be the bass guitar or the lead guitar or even the drum. You can come on stage now. All the teenagers who can do that will just take some persons while these young teenagers will be helping us in the place of the trumpet. Okay, we've got one who is going straight to the drum. Do we have any person who can handle the keyboard for us now? Those in the arena should give keep clear. Please, we want the arena to be clear so that those of us in the canopy can see what is happening here. Hallelujah. Okay, we've got one on the guitar now. Do you have any person who will play the bass? Okay, our brother, you help them. So please, we'll now hand over to the royal kids to handle this section now. Please, keep clear. Those in the arena. It's okay for now. So please, those of us who are watching them, let's, let's keep clear so that those in the canopy can see what is happening. So please, we need an army of salvation that will lead the other young um, children in the house so that they will dance around. So please, okay, a young army of salvation, you will lead the other children as they dance around. Please, if you know you're looking for your ATM, you can come for identification and collection. We picked an ATM while we are dancing. If you know you're looking for an ATM card, Please come for identification and collection. The Lord will bless you. Please, we hand over to this. Okay, we've got yet another young person who will be playing the bass now. I think it's wonderful. God is raising new breed in the Esau church. So that by the time our elders and our young brothers who are doing it now will be passing out, we have some other young set of young person that will be handing over. And so please, them is possible. Please, we encourage, we are covering the view from the canopy. So please, all these persons who are standing by this side, you help us move to this side so that the elders can see what is happening here. Please, let's move from the stage and also where we have the lightning system. Okay, the complaint has come that the elders are not seeing the stage. So please, if you know you're blocking the view from the elder scene, let's clear the stage. Every other young child will want you to come out and take the processional dance. This is a royal dance by royal kids. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. We are set.
Because this talent can never be 
said the Lord will bless you. Thank you very much. The royal beat. Thank you very much. You can go and sit down. Those of them who are dancing, you can sit down now. The Lord will bless them my me. The Lord will bless them my me. For this grace God has given to them, they shall do as much in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We want to thank the kids for doing so much. We thank these teenagers for what they've done. you can come on stage if you have a sister who can play the bass guitar you can come on stage now while this queen while the queen they will be ministering we expect that every female sister in this congregation you will come out and dance all the female sisters you will come out and dance outside the mothers so we'll call the person that will be leading this delegation is not that person and our sister Dr. Slovet so please, can Dr. Slobert come on stage now? And every other sister, those who play the sax, those who play the trombone, all the sisters will come on stage. While our brethren, the young men will be there backing us. We want to call Sister Gift, you'll be singing for them. Sister Gift, you'll be singing for them. So please, we we'll call our sister, Sister Lovett. She's the person that is taking this section. Why is our sister, Sister Lovett, the trumpeter? Is she not there? Sister Lovett, we are waiting for you. should push every person out of this place. So we don't want to push you. We respect you so much. We respect you so much. Just go back and sit down. All the sisters, you can come out and dance now.
mais das que e queres for me every moment why should I worry why should I be e queres for me every moment why should I worry when I have crossed the ski 